Hello friends. In this video tutorial, we will learn how to export MySQL table data to Excel file or CSV file by using PHP spreadsheet library. In previous tutorial, we have discussed how to import data from Excel or CSV file into MySQL table by using PHP spreadsheet library. Then there are many viewers has requested us to publish how to export MySQL data to Excel or CSV file by using PHP spreadsheet library. So, here we have published this video tutorial because PHP Excel library is deprecated. So we have published video tutorial of Exporting MySQL data into Excel file or CSV file by using PHP spreadsheet library. Many times, we want to get data from PHP web application in Excel file or CSV file. For this here we have discussed how to export data from database in Excel or CSV file and download that data file. Now let's start discussing this topic. So this is our testing database. And here we have one sample data table. And in this table we have already inserted some data. We will export this data in Excel or CSV file by using PHP spreadsheet library. This is our working folder. And here we have open PHP spreadsheet export.php file. And in this file, we have to make HTML form. So, here we have write, form tag with method is equal to post. Under this form, we have create one select tag, with name is equal to file type and class is equal to form control and input small. Under this select tag, we have make three option, with text and value like xlsx, xls and csv file extension. For submit form, here we have write input type is equal to submit, name is equal to export, Class is equal to button and button primary and button small. And in value attribute, we have write export. By click on this button, it will export MySQL table data to Excel or CSV file by using PHP spreadsheet library. Below this, we have create one table with for table column like first name, last name, created at and updated at. We won't fill this table with data, so here we have write dollar connect variable is equal to new do class with three argument. In first argument, we have write mysql host is equal to local host, database name set to testing. User name set to root and password with blank value. After making database connection, here we have write dollar statement variable is equal to select star from sample data table with order by ID in descending order. Below this query, we have write dollar statement variable is equal to dollar connect variable with prepare statement and under this we have write dollar query variable next we want to execute query so here we have write dollar statement variable with execute method now we want to get query execution result so here we have write dollar result variable is equal to dollar statement variable with fetch all method next we have go to html table and here we have write 
for each loop and under condition, we have write dollar result variable as dollar row variable. Under this loop, we have write echo statement with this HTML code. In first table column, we want to print first name column data, so here we have write dollar row first name variable. In second table column, we want to print last name column data, so here we have write dollar row last name variable. In third table column, we want to print created at column data, so here we have write dollar row created at variable. And in last table column, we want to print updated at column data, so here we have write dollar row updated at variable. So, it will fill this table with data. Friends, here we can see when has been load in browser, then on web page, we can see on select box with three option and export button. Below this button, we can see sample table data on web page in table format. By click on this export button, this data can be export in selected file format. For this we have go to php spreadsheet export.php file, and here we have write include statement, with vendor folder name slash autoload.php file. Next we have write use statement, and after this, we have write php office forward slash, php spreadsheet forward slash, spreadsheet class. Now here we have write, if statement, and under condition, we have write is set function, with dollar post export variable, so when we have click on export button, then this block of code will execute. Under this block of code, we have write dollar file variable is equal to, new spreadsheet class. Here we have create object of this class. Below this, we have write dollar active sheet variable is equal to dollar file object with get active sheet method. This method will get active sheet. Now we want to define column header. For this here, we have write dollar active sheet variable with set cell value method with two argument in first argument we have write a one cell number and in second argument we have write first name title for second table column heading here we have write dollar active sheet variable with set cell value method with two argument in first argument we have write b1 cell number, and in second argument, we have write last name title. For third table column heading, here we have write dollar active sheet variable with set cell value method with two argument. In first argument, we have write c1 cell number, and in second argument, we have write created at title. For fourth table column heading, here we have write dollar active sheet variable with set cell value method with two argument. In first argument, we have write d1 cell number, and in second argument, we have write updated at title. After set table heading, now we have write dollar count variable is equal to 2, this row number, which we will used for define row number, for print data in Excel file. 
Now we want to print sample data table data under this Excel sheet or CSV file. For this here we have write for each loop and under condition we have write dollar result variable as dollar row variable. Under this loop we have write dollar active sheet variable with set cell value method with two argument. In first argument, we have write a with dollar count variable, and in second argument, we have write dollar row first name variable. In second column, we want to print last name table column data, so here we have write dollar active sheet variable with set cell value method with two argument. In first argument, we have write b with dollar count variable, and in second argument, we have write dollar row last name variable. In third column, we want to print created at column data, so here we have write dollar active sheet variable, with set cell value method, with two argument. In first argument, we have write C with dollar count variable, and in second argument, we have write dollar row created at variable. And in last column, we want to print updated at column data, so here we have write dollar active sheet variable, with set cell value method, with two argument. In first argument, we have write D with dollar count variable, and in second argument, we have write dollar row updated at variable. Next, we have write dollar count variable is equal to dollar count variable plus one, it will increment dollar count variable value by one. Now we have write dollar writer variable is equal to forward slash php office forward slash php spreadsheet forward slash io factory class with create writer method with two argument. In first argument, we have write dollar file variable. And in second argument, we have write dollar post file variable. This method will create write for selected file extension. Next, we want to create file name. So here we have write dollar file name variable is equal to time function. And here we have append string to lower function. And under this we have write dollar post file type variable. It will create new file name for selected file type. Now we have write dollar writer variable with save method. And under this we have write dollar file name variable. It will create Excel file with MySQL table data. And store in this working folder. For falsely download Excel file, here we have write header function, with content type property set to, application x www form url encoded. After this, again we have write header function, with content transfer encoding property set to binary. Now again we have write, header statement with content disposition property set to attachment and file name is equal to dollar file name variable next we have write red file function with dollar file name variable it will falsely download excel file in our local computer now we want to remove temporary excel file so here we have write unlink function, and under this, we have write dollar file name variable, 
it will removed Excel sheet from working folder. Lastly, we have write exit statement, it will kill PHP execution process. So here our code is ready, now we have check output in browser. Friends, first we have refresh web page. Now we want to export MySQL table data in Excel file. So here we have select XLS file format and click on export button. After click on export button, here we can see one Excel file has been download in our computer. So now we have open Excel file. Here we can see MySQL table data has been exported into this Excel file. Now we want to download MySQL table data in CSV file. So here we have select CSV file format and click on export button. After click on export button, here we can see CSV file has been download in our computer. So we have opened this file. In this file, here we can see, MySQL table data has been exported in this CSV file. So, if you want to export data from MySQL table, in your PHP web application, then you should use PHP spreadsheet library because library is able to make original Excel or CSV file from dynamic MYSQL table data. Lastly, if you have any query or input regarding this video tutorial, please comment your query or input in comment box, or if you like this video tutorial please share with your friends, or even you can also share on social media also.